This is an article dated 1-9-2017 from WND.com. Some call it, some are calling it, calling it the fulfillment of prophecy, a step toward the rebuilding of the third temple. A flock of sheep described in the pages of Genesis have returned to Israel for the first time since Jacob walked the Holy Land. In Genesis 30, that's chapter 30, verse 32, Jacob leaves his first father-in-law, the bonds, household, and takes a very specific part of the flock as payment. The animals he takes are described as every speckle and spotted one, and every dark one among the sheep, and a spotted and speckle among the goats. And of such should be my hire. The sheep followed Jacob from Canaan to North um, to North Africa. Though they had spread throughout the world, they had not returned to Israel until now. I'm talking from 1948, May 14, 1948, until until now. In Israel, an Israeli couple living in Canada, Jenna and Gil Lewinsky, raised a group of the Jacob sheep, which, as a heritage breed, have retained most of its characteristics since ancient times. In a repeat of how the Jewish diaspora returned to its country after thousands of years, the couple sought to bring the sheep back to their ancient homeland. But it required detailed negotiations between Canada and Israel. Indeed, the case of the sheep reportedly cleared the way for a sweeping trade agreement between the two nations. Says here a total of 119 of the distinctive four horn sheep are now in their homeland of Israel. Gil Lewinsky says the sheep will eventually be part of a heritage park, which will now, which will allow people to come to see the animals. However. The sheep will also be used to produce raw wool for the Jewish religious garments and horns for the production of the shofars. They would also be used in rituals if and when a third temple is reconstructed. Joel Richardson, the best-selling author of the Islamic Antichrist and director of the teaching series The Coming Battle for Jerusalem says believers should indeed expect to see a physical temple in the Holy Land of Israel. Throughout the clear word of scripture we can see we can be confident that there will indeed be a third temple rebuilt, perhaps in our near future. He, he's talking about Richardson, he told the WND uh, World Net Daily, although this structure could be as simple as a tent, it could also be a actual brick a mortar structure, so so to speak. Four times, the prophecies of Daniel speak of a of this temple being defiled and desolate. Uh, reference to Daniel, chapter eight, twelve, verse twelve through thirteen. 
And that's Daniel 8, chap uh, chapter 8, verse 12 through 13. Daniel chapter 9, 26, verse 26. Daniel 11, 31. Daniel 11. Jesus likewise refers to a future time when Daniel's prophecy concerning the time when the temple will be defiled and desolate. It's, the, it's called the abomination of desolation, spoken uh, by uh, uh, Daniel the prophet, which Jesus spoke about it in Matthew 24, 15. Paul, the apostle, also spoke of the day when the Antichrist, whom he refers to as the man of lawlessness and the son of perdition, would set himself up in God's temple as he seeks to exalt himself above the God of Israel. 2 Thessalonians 2.4 Finally, the book of Revelation speaks of a future rebuilt temple. It's in Revelation 11, chapter 11, 2, verse 2. and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a an half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another Hundreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a an half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Hundreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a an half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. When condemned yesterday's attacks, however, Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist terror group in Gaza, held a rally praising the truck ramming that killed four young Israeli cadets. Supporters on the streets handed out candies and sweets to passerby when condemned yesterday's attacks, however. Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist terror group in Gaza, held a rally praising the truck ramming that killed four young Israeli cadets. Supporters on the streets handed out candies and sweets to when condemned yesterday's attacks, however. Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist terror group in Gaza, held a rally praising the truck ramming that killed four young Israeli cadets. Supporters on the streets handed out candies and sweets to passerbys. We should not be surprised then when all the various needed animals required to engage in the many sacrifices of Torah essentials reemerge in our days. The Lord himself would, will so, uh, sovereignly oversee the fulfillment of his word. I think the return of this ancient heritage breed of sheep and goats is indeed the providence of God. The return of the Jacob sheep is not only signs in recent years. They are uh, there were recent moves by the nation uh, Sanhedrin towards appointing a high priest in case the temple is re rebuilt. An altar has already been constructed for use in sacrifices if necessary. And there is an effort to bring another group of biblical important animals, the red the red heifer, which can restore a state of purity after ritual slaughter to Israel. And we don't, you know, those that believe in Christ, we know what that means. I mean, we don't do that anymore, but God's word has to be fulfilled. Richardson, is, remember that Jesus was the last sacrifice. Now, Richardson also sees geopolitical significance. 
in the physical appearance of the Jacob sheep he says in, in quotes I find it fascinating that this particular breed of sheep and goat has the very rare quality of having four horns he said and I'll quote within the prophecies of Daniel we find just such a goat this goat is described by the angel Gabriel as representing a highly successful military excursion into the larger Middle East by Iran no doubt Iran is fulfilling this prophecy in our very day largely largely through uh, proxies today Iran controls the capital of Baghdad Beirut and Damascus all throughout its its proxies there are some prophecy teachers out there such as author Mark Davison who believes that a more full-blown regional assault by Iran is imminent based on my reading of Daniel 8 I suspect that Davison may be correct could it be that the return of this four horned goat is Israel is this form of to uh, go to Israel is a sign of this looming regional conflict the Lord knows and Tom will must certainly tell other experts are less sure pastor Carl Gallops author of the when the lion roars says he finds the story interesting but does not believe the sheep must have any specific significance Gallup also said Jesus may have been referring to the church the community of believers rather than a physical third temple Gallup admits he may be mistaken about this however he says he is decide decidedly not mistaken about the many other signs he claims show the end times are near in my estimation there are certainly more important signs of last day's occurrences rather than a certain breed of sheep that are right under our noses this very moment he told WND those signs include but are not limited to the return of Israel the alignment of the Ezekiel 38 nations against Israel the continual international outcries against Israel and its sovereignty the partnerships between Russia and Iran the presence of Russia in China in the Middle East and the re-Islamization of Turkey certain developments in technology well, that's a big one the technology uh, that's another topic technology the growth of global government and so many more these are the real signs of our times and this is why I am I and so many others believe we we are in prophetic times the most prophetic in our history since Jesus came the first time and this is the end of this article amazing news as we get close to the return of Jesus Christ these are interesting and exciting times we got to get right with God before it's too late.